everybody, and welcome to Close Your Eyes. This game contains violent, disturbing, cruel, and graphic content that may not be suitable for all audiences. You have been warned. So hey, this is a game by a friend, actually. A friend of mine, uh, aesthetic gamer of Yai Gameworks. Full disclosure, uh, for sake of transparency, I do know him. We, we do talk. We've been friends for many, many years. But I wanted to uh, just play this game not at, like, I want to give an opinion as if I'm not, you know, playing a friend's project, <laughs> I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I, I want to play it as just somebody playing the game, not as a friend checking out somebody's game just because my friend made it. You know, I, I, I don't know any better way to word it, so, but... Yeah, I could have easily had Ryan here with me and to talk with as we played through this, but again, uh, that'd make it hard for me to, like, just judge the game without having some kind of bias just because he's here or something, so we're gonna take a fresh look at it, just me and you, the viewers. And maybe after the Let's Play, if people have questions, maybe we can do, like, a pseudo, uh, uh, FAQ questionnaire with Ryan, because I'm sure he'd be fine with that. Anyway, let's start enough yammering. I'm just kind of going off. Before playing the options menu, yeah, 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 just basic, basic stuff. Pressing F2 will show your FPS. Oh, that's the most important feature! Where is it? Where's my FPS? Oh, I see it. It's at the top of the screen. 60, 60 fips. This is, this is a, a new gen game, man. 60, <laughs> even though 60 frames per second has been around since the good old days. Many people may not realize that the NES and SNES and stuff actually ran at 60 FPS. Anyway, as a horror game, don't rob yourself the experience. The game is best enjoyed in a dark environment wearing headphones. I uh, have both those things. It's dark and cloudy and rainy outside, so it's kind of dark in here. And I have headphones on, and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn up my volume a bit. Let it let, let the shocks uh, go through my body. Please close your eyes. All right. My eyes are closed, for real. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I think I should open my eyes. Ah, hello. Okay, welcome. Oh, wait, he can talk himself. Boys and girls. There's voice acting. Oh, man. What a familiar voice, though. Man, who, I wonder who that is. How y'all doing? Today, our exciting detective is death to fight. Death wrong to find, that is. <laughs> oh, yo! He's a little tied up right now. Let's go check on him. Yo, this, like, effect, he's, it's like ASMR. He's going around me, guys. Do you have any last words? Ellipses. They may have got, they may God have mercy on your soul. Release the platform. The switch is now out to the world. Release it. Oh wait, there's not enough for everybody? Oh well, we're Nintendo. We're not gonna fix this problem ever. What in tarnations? The damn rope broke. Someone stop him! He's getting away! Oh man. Just gotta lock that door behind me. I blocked the door with a pipe. Someone is drastically trying to get in. We got- <laughs> We got the rope still around our neck and everything. Oh my god. Weeds are growing up from the ground. What is this, that... That poem by 50 Cent? Concrete flowers or whatever? There are pipes sticking out from the wall. Is that where we got the pipe from? Man, we're strong. We must have just tore that out. Or used alchemy like Scar. Destroyed it and just took... <laughs> thinking too deeply about this. Hey! It's like the staircase from Mario 64 when you don't have enough stars to go up. But this ended. Hello. What's this? Oh! It's a save game. Did that work? Yes, okay. Cool. The subway must have been long abandoned. There's weeds growing everywhere. As there's two weeds in the room. Two little two little spots. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere, indeed. Oh, that appears to be a pillar in my way. 
Can I talk to any of the pillars? Oh, you can go behind them. Oh, damn. Depth. Huh, a poster of an eye. Wonder what it's for. Actually, no, I don't think... If we're checking stuff like that, it's gotta be this character talking, right? Let's try to give him, like, a... I don't know, um... Huh, a poster of an eye. Wonder what it's for. Wonder what it's... I don't know... He, he seems small. And I've seen a lot of fan art of him, and he seems like a little cutie. I, I don't know. I don't know if he'd have a cute voice, though. We'll go with it. Whatever. No time to be gardening. Hi- what? Hitter Hag Hilds the Key? <laughs> what? A work of graffiti. There's a message written on it. Hidden Hag Holds the Key. Oh. Oh, I see. That doesn't look like what that says at all. Hidden Hag... Hidden Hag holds... That... what? Hit, but look at it on the poster. I'm gonna zoom in. What does that say? Hilds? Hitter Hag Hilds? Is it a different language? Hidden Hag... Whatever. It looks... Confusing. I'm confused. I don't believe the poster. I don't believe the graffiti. No time to be gardening. That's a door. That's a door I gotta go through. Didn't really seem like another eye poster. This poster is supposed to be a. Oh. Is this poster supposed to be of an eye? What a strange symbol. So. I did actually see some of this game in development, and I've seen a bunch of the art assets because uh, I helped Ryan make a little video for Patreon or whatever that used some of the art from this game. So I've seen that and all that. So I've gotten kind of a behind the scenes look at it, but I kind of actively try to ignore it again for a while. So that I would be able to kind of look at this fresh and forget everything. And I definitely don't remember jack crap about this game, so... It's definitely blind at this point. There's something caught in the weeds. Obtained red-labeled cassette. Well, I wonder if I can play it on that conveniently gigantic cassette player. It appears to be a tape... <laughs> play the red... <laughs> Sorry. Play the red-labeled cassette. Sorry, I died for a moment. <laughs> what a peculiar song. <laughs> hmm? What was that? <gasps> the door is locked. There's no sign of a keyhole, so I'm not quite sure how you open it. <laughs> I don't, why is that funny to me? I don't understand. <laughs> There's no sound of a keyhole, so I'm not quite sure how you open it. That's too good. Huh, the door is open. Oh god, it's still playing. I can still hear it. No, why is it gotta keep going, though? Seems to be a light switch, but there's no power being supplied to it. Oh, there's a shiny thing over here I should be able to just get, right? There's an item here. Same blue labeled cassette. Interesting. So my keyboard's kind of jacked up. Uh, holding left. I have to like really press it in to move. I kind of need to get a new keyboard at some point, but I gotta work with what I got. My controller wouldn't work for some reason. I tried everything and it just wouldn't work. Swap out for blue label cassette, yeah. Let's swap it out for my cassette. Let's do it. Once upon a time in another place there was an old hack or so they say she cursed anyone who dared tread on her lonely space. Once upon a time in another place there was an I should be able to just listen to this subconsciously if there's anything particular I need to uh listen for. <laughs> but I don't know if it's important or not at the moment. So this door is open. Cool. I think I see the running trend here. Is everything here fake? What is this? It's like a stage. What's going on here? Can't really interact with anything. 
What does it seem like? It's really bizarre, though. It looks like this would be something that would be interactable and be like, why is there sage things here? Obtained yellow label cassette. I don't know why. M Marshmallow Monk's talking now. It's me, Marshmallow Monk, doing a let's play. Hey! <laughs> it's me, Mr. Beeseeks! I saw the blue label cassette. For yellow. This one sounds a bit sad. A little bit slow tempoed, yeah. I like the nice open sesame. I like piano stuff quite a lot. Should the audio sound that distorted though? That's a bit. It's a bit weird. Like it sounds like the audio is peaking, does it not? Is that just too loud? Let me let me check something here. Let me open up my volume mixer. Now turning it down doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, just maybe it's just supposed to be like that. I don't know. It's on a cassette. Maybe that's the whole point. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. Sorry. It's a power generator. Turn it on. Yep. Let's do that. The power is now on. I wonder how these weeds sustain themselves. They suck out concrete skittles. Little, little, little creatures that look like skittles, but they're made of rock, and, and the weeds love them. They're like little, to the weeds, they're like little jelly beans, and I don't think I want to go in there. I don't quite remember. What do we need power for? I don't even know. The door is locked. I think I'm missing something. Am I missing something? It's no longer working. That's weird. Let me go save. Or is this even a save point? No, it's in the floor, right? What a strange symbol. Nothing other than here. Am I dumb? <laughs> what am I doing? Hold on, let me let me go back and did I miss something in here? Door is locked. No, okay, so it just appears to be this room or something. Let's head on in here, I guess. Cause this one's open, right? So okay. It's a light switch. Oh, it's working now. I was just missing something obvious. Was this here before? I guess it was rather dark. Chain turnstile ticket. Is that? All we got? Is that all we got? I guess so. Oh, hey. Did, did someone just record this? Oh, was it just a little laugh? A little bit of a hoo 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 hoo? You tell yourself a little bit of a funny joke there? Huh? Have a little bit of a giggle? But you're real funny. Too bad you didn't record the joke, buddy. You hit it a little late. What did I get this ticket for? <laughs> I don't remember seeing a turnstile. I saw you. Ellipses. That's all we got to say about that. Whole lot of nothing. Is this a turnstile? Is this what this is? The road is blocked by <laughs> turnstile that to the right here. There's inserted the turnstile ticket. I guess that is indeed a turnstile. It is now open though, so no longer. I don't know. When I hear turnstile, I think you know the the metal bars that you walk through and they move. They don't move. They stay in place. Not like a gate thing. All right. So it's a little bit smoky in here. What's going on with that? A little bit of smoke. It's kind of a neat looking effect actually for what this is made on. Hey! 
Who was that? I can still sort of see something. This isn't right. This isn't... Where do you suppose we're headed? What? I was following you, I don't... The subway system isn't in use anymore. So, why are you here? <laughs> Funny you should ask, I have no goddamn idea. I was running away from people trying to, trying to hang me, then through some miracle this very thick rope <laughs> happened to break. Are you hiding? Did you do something wrong? I don't know, actually. We don't know what he did. What was he getting killed for? Didn't it just say he was a criminal? I, I think I missed any other details there. When was it? A couple minutes ago, you know, death row and all. When was it? Oh, okay, I guess that's all she had. That's all she wrote. You think these plates maybe are dispersing this mist? That's a good theory. You see, you see smog monsters coming out of the pipes. Maybe the mist helps these things grow. Yeah, a little bit of dew. A little bit of dew. Get them moisturized so they can grow. Oh man, do we have another endless staircase? Do 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 do. Oh, has his own music. I'll shut up. Nope, those are much shorter. Sure is getting dark though. This door is a gateway to another world, different but similar to our own. It is not part of the main game and was unlocked by the purchase Oh, of the goodie bag DLC for it close your eyes. Entering this door will commence the girls' graveyard minigame. Do you wish to enter? Nah, we'll do that as a bonus maybe later. Maybe if we do like some kind of interview with Ryan, we'll do girls' graveyard behind it. Since it's kind of a separate thing. I believe girls' graveyard is a completely different game that he made for, uh... For, um... What was it? What's it called? I feel like that was one of the Ludum Dare things, was it not? I don't know. I don't remember what the girl's graveyard is, actually. It's too dark to see. A lighter, this could be useful. Ah, much better. An eye is staring back at me. A poster of an eye, I mean. It's a lot of those. These weeds really do grow everywhere around here, huh? Who thought putting all of these pipes around here was a good idea? The pipes are the source of the weeds. The, it's the pipes somehow occasionally feed them. These weeds really- Oh, yep. They sure do, buddy. They sure do. They- Yep. Like, lay- That is a good- That is a good thought. Maybe we get it one more time? Yeah. There's a big bench. Can it sit on the big bench? The big, comfy bench. There's an even bigger one over here. Good lord. Good lordy lord, look at this big old bench. It's the biggest and comfiest bench. What's going on here? Oh my. A corpse. It looks a bit odd. How did, what, how did you discern that that was a corpse? Interesting. Interesting. Well, there, there seems to be a note here that might be helpful. A note is plastered here. It seems to be related to the train system at the station. The train runs in a straight line. There are four stations and a different colored door opens at each of the stations. The station furthest east opens the blue door. The station the f Whoa, 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 okay. The station furthest east opens the blue door. The station first... This station, first station to the east, opens the red door. This first station to the west opens the yellow door. The furthest station to the west opens the green door. The train's route is, in this, is the same every day. It always begins and ends its route at this station. It then heads to the station furthest east, the only time of the day it goes that far eastward. It then heads all the way west, making a stop at each of the stations along the way. The train then heads, the, 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 the train then heads back east by one, and then goes backwards the way it came to the west by one. It then ends its route and comes to rest for the night. The route it takes also doubles as the release for the security lock. 
<laughs> Information overload! So what? Seems to control the security lock of the train. Enter in the passcode. It seems it wants you to enter in some eight button combination. Which button should I press? Hey, thanks again for watching the video. If you enjoyed your time here, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see the next episode, go ahead and click or tap here. If you want the entire playlist for this series, click or tap here. And if you're new here and want to catch my future videos, click or tap on the circular icon here. Alright, remember, you're the bomb.